and I'm actually excited to see what this actually looks like in, in my hand. Of course, the instructions, warranty, uh, DeWalt's standard warranty, belt clip at DCF 845. All right, first speed is 1500 RPM, second speed is 2800 RPM, and uh, third speed is 3400 RPM. Not bad, not bad. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. It looks almost like, almost the exact same body. Done. Ohio Power Tools, you guys, if you guys uh, go look at their website, if you guys get wind that are new tools coming out across a couple of different plat uh, battery platforms, they actually get certain stuff in early. Like I got the M12 baby chainsaw very early before it's even in the store. And that's just because I bought it from Ohio Power Tools. Like that's one may that's one huge perk from ordering from OPT. And they get stuff early. And so like I, I keep an eye on their website for certain stuff because I want to be one of the not the we are gonna do speed three. 1.3 amp hour battery. We are going to be able to tell the difference between these. Time. That's with the 1.3 amp hour. All right, watch your volume. Let's take this out. All right, now let's do the same with the... Uh, two amp hour battery all these batteries are full you guys let's see what the two amp hour battery a little bit better it's a nice little tool though let's take it out all right let's do the 1.5 sorry the 1.7 amp hour battery what a difference there, that is a big difference, you guys. Let's take it out. And let's try a four amp hour new design of, a, of the battery. Do one more hold right here. Yeah, well, what a big difference between using these two and then using these two. And let's uh, increase it to an uh, eight inch timber lock. Yeah, we're just doing simple stuff, you guys. We're just seeing on how the tool, this tool actually performs. Yeah, for an 8-inch timber lock, that was a while. Martin, welcome to the stream. Uh, let's take this out. And also keep in mind, you guys, uh, how I do my test from now on, we are using the same hole uh, per test, and the hole gets uh, deeper and it gets wider as we go along. All right, so we have a two amp hour battery. Uh, and let's see what this does with a eight inch timber lock. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better, not bad. Uh, the impacts of the tool, uh, the hammer and the tool actually activated later. Not too shabby. All right, let's put the 1.7 amp hour battery in. Now this is where we're gonna see a big difference. Much better. I'd say probably I'm going to guess 1.83 seconds. Let's see what it actually is when I edit this, edit this into a video. So let's uh, do the four amp hour. Wow. Awesome. All right, so let's take this out. Bam. Uh, so let's test out the five inch ledger lock. Let's take it out. All right, let's switch to the two amp hour battery. Oh, let's uh, take this out. This is what I'm waiting for. Let's see what that does. Oh, wow. Done. 
What an amazing battery. All right, let's take this out. Didn't even need the impacts. The, the straight motor power took that out. All right, then let's do the four amp hour battery. Yep, that needed. Oh, we'll see if the four amp hour battery requires the, uh, the impacts to take it out. The DCF850 is my most uh, favorite impact driver ever made, but I don't know. This is this is this is there. Like I love the design of this. It's a, it's amazing. This might actually take that title. Like this is a really really nice looking impact driver. It needed a smidge impact, but it's the same results. Uh, I needed like two impacts to take the, to take that out. Not bad. So yeah, this impact driver is, is awesome, you guys. So far, uh, of course, uh, much stronger tests are coming. Brand new tools need to be broken in. Uh, it's I learned that years ago. Like I used to do uh, versus videos right out of the box. Uh, ver like tools need to be broken in to reach their true uh, their true power. So I got to do its own video along with this stream. So I'll, I'll see you guys on the next one. I thank you guys so much for tuning in.